The Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company reporting Mark C. N. W. was a Class I railroad in the Midwestern United States. It was also known as the Northwestern. The railroad operated more than 5,000 miles 8, kilometers of track as of the turn of the 20th century, and over 12,000 miles 19, kilometers of track in seven states before retrenchment in the late 1970s. Until 1972, when the employees purchased the company, it was named the Chicago and Northwestern Railway or Chicago and Northwestern Railway Company. The C and NW became one of the longest railroads in the United States as a result of mergers with other railroads, such as the Chicago Great Western Railway, Minneapolis and St. Louis Railway and others. By 1995, track sales and abandonment had reduced the total mileage to about 5,000. The majority of the abandoned and sold lines were lightly trafficked branches in Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, South Dakota and Wisconsin. Large line sales, such as those that resulted in the Dakota, Minnesota and Eastern Railroad, further helped reduce the railroad to a mainline core with several regional feeders and branches. Union Pacific up purchased the company in April 1995 and integrated it with its own operation. History 1859–1968 The Chicago and Northwestern Railway was chartered on June 7, 1859, five days after it purchased the assets of the bankrupt Chicago, St. Paul and Fond du Lac Railroad. On February 15, 1865, it officially merged with the Galena and Chicago Union Railroad, which had been chartered on January 16, 1836. Since the Galena and Chicago Union started operating in December 1848, and the Fond du Lac Railroad started in March 1855, the Galena and Chicago Union Railroad is considered to be the origin of the Northwestern Railroad system. The Winona and St. Peter Railroad was added to the network in 1867. After nine years in bankruptcy, the CNNW was reorganized in 1944. It had turned rapidly to diesel power, established a huge diesel shop in Chicago. Its proviso freight yard, 12 miles 19 kilometers west of the city center in suburban Cook County was constructed between 1926 and 1929 and remained the largest such in the world, with 224 miles of trackage and a capacity of more than 20,000 cars. Potatoes from the West were a main crop loading of the C and NW, and its potato sheds in Chicago were the nation's largest. It also carried Western sugar beets and huge amounts of corn and wheat. This road, like other lines depending heavily on crop movements, was adversely affected by government agricultural credit policies which sealed a lot of products on the farms where they were produced. Although it stood 16th in operating revenue in 1938, it was 8th in passenger revenue among American railroads. It served Chicago commuters, its 400 streamliners provided intercity transportation, and it provided an eastern link to bring the Union Pacific's passengers from Omaha and points west to Chicago. The Northwestern had owned a majority of the stock of the Chicago, St. Paul, Minneapolis and Omaha Railway Omaha Road since 1882. On January 1, 1957, it leased the company, and merged it into the Northwestern in 1972. The Omaha Road's main line extended from an interchange with the Northwestern at Elroy, Wisconsin, to the Twin Cities, south to Sioux City, Iowa, and then finally to Omaha, Nebraska. The Northwestern acquired several important short railroads during its later years. It finalized acquisition of the Litchfield and Madison Railway on January 1, 1958. The Litchfield and Madison Railroad was a 44-mile bridge road from East St. Louis to Litchfield, Illinois. On July 30, 1968, the Northwestern acquired two former interurbans, the 36-mile Des Moines and Central Iowa Railway and the 110-mile Fort Dodge, Des Moines and Southern Railway 
The DM&CI gave access to the Firestone plant in Des Moines, Iowa, and the FDDM&S provided access to Gypsum Mills in Fort Dodge, Iowa. On November 1, 1960, the Northwestern acquired the rail properties of the 1,500-mile Minneapolis and St. Louis Railway. In spite of its name, it ran only from Minneapolis, Minnesota, to Peoria, Illinois. This acquisition provided traffic and modern rolling stock, and eliminated competition. Topic. 1968–1984 On July 1, 1968, the 1,500-miles Chicago Great Western Railway merged with the Northwestern. This railroad extended between Chicago and Olwine, Iowa. From their lines went to the Twin Cities, Omaha, Nebraska, and Kansas City, Missouri. A connection from Hayfield, Minnesota, to Clarion, Iowa, provided a Twin Cities to Omaha main line. The Chicago Great Western duplicated the Northwestern's routes from Chicago to the Twin Cities and Omaha, but went the long way. This merger provided access to Kansas City and further eliminated competition. After abandoning a plan to merge with the Milwaukee Road in 1970, Benjamin W. Heinemann, who headed the CNW and parent Northwest Industries since 1956, arranged the sale of the railroad to its employees in 1972. They formed Northwest Industries to take over the CNW in 1968. The words, employee owned, were part of the company logo in the ensuing period. The railroad was renamed from Chicago and Northwestern Railway to Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company. The railroad's reporting marks CNW remained the same. After the Chicago, Rock Island and Pacific Railroad Rock Island ceased operating on March 31, 1980, the Northwestern won a bidding war with the Sioux Line Railroad to purchase the roughly 600-mile spine line between the Twin Cities and Kansas City, Missouri, via Des Moines, Iowa. The Interstate Commerce Commission ICC approved Northwestern's bid of $93 million on June 20, 1983. The line was well engineered, but because of deferred maintenance on the part of the bankrupt Rock Island, it required a major rehabilitation in 1984. The company then began to abandon the Olwine to Kansas City section of its former Chicago Great Western trackage, which duplicated spine line service. 1985–1995 In 1985, the CNW Corporation was formed to take over the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company. The employee owned stock of the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company was transferred to the new CNW Corporation. In 1988, the Blackstone Capital Partners, LP formed the Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation to purchase the CNW Corporation. The CNW Corporation was acquired by Blackstone Capital Partners under the Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation subsidiary from the employee owned stock. Blackstone Capital Partners now controls the CNW Corporation and the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company under the Chicago. Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation subsidiary. Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation or CNW Holdings Corporation and Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Company was formed and took control of the Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation which controlled the CNW Corporation and which the CNW Corporation controlled the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company, the Chicago and Northwestern Corporate Structure under the Blackstone Ownership Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation CNW Corporation 
Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company formerly Chicago and Northwestern Railway in February 1994, the Chicago and Northwestern Acquisition Corporation and the CNW Corporation merged into the Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation, leaving only the Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation and the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company. In May 1994, the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company reverted to its original name, Chicago and Northwestern Railway and the Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation was renamed to the second Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company. The Chicago and Northwestern corporate structure now follows Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company formerly Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation Chicago and Northwestern Railway formerly Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company in April 1995 the Union Pacific Corporation acquired the former Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation the second Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company under subsidiary Up Rail or Up Rail Inc Union Pacific now controls the former Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation now the second Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company and the Chicago and Northwestern Railway, formerly the first Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company under Up Rail subsidiary, the Chicago and Northwestern corporate structure under Union Pacific ownership. Up Rail or Up Rail Inc. Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company, formerly Chicago and Northwestern Holdings Corporation. Chicago and Northwestern Railway formerly Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company the Union Pacific Corporation merged up rail into the Union Pacific Railroad and then merged the second Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company and the Chicago and Northwestern Railway into the Union Pacific Railroad the Chicago and Northwestern system is now part of the Union Pacific Railroad system a joint UP CNW subsidiary, Western Railroad Properties, Inc., was also merged into the Union Pacific system in the acquisition. Topic post CNNW Chicago and Northwestern locomotives continued to operate in their own paint schemes for several years after the acquisition, although some of them were gradually repainted into up colors. Many former CNNW units have received patches with a new road number and reporting mark to match their new owner's roster. Approximately 40 patched units remain on the Union Pacific, and several others work under different owners. However, it is still possible to find untouched CNNW units in service. For instance, CNW 1518, CNW 411, CNW 414, and CNW 6847 are preserved at the Illinois Railway Museum. CNW 4153 now works at a grain elevator in Fremont, Nebraska, and several other GP 7s, GP 9s, and a few other CNNW locomotives are owned by various various regional railroads, short lines, or industries. Union Pacific continues to follow its new tradition of releasing heritage EMDSD-70 ACE units to represent the paint schemes of companies absorbed by UP. After completion of painting at the Wisconsin and Southern Railroad's Horicon, Wisconsin Shop, UP 1995, painted in a Heritage CNNW paint scheme, was unveiled on July 15, 2006, at Northwestern Station in Chicago, Illinois. Northwestern Station now serves as UP's Metro Terminus although the station is officially designated the Ogilvy Transportation Center, many locals still refer to the station as the Northwestern Station, or as the employees still refer to it, CPT Chicago Passenger Terminal. Topic CN and W Tables Topic passenger train service The CNW's most famous train, the Twin Cities 400 from Chicago to Minneapolis, St. Paul, was introduced in 1935 to compete with the Chicago, Burlington and Quincy's Zephyrs and the Milwaukee Road's Hiawathas. This train was named so, because it traveled the 400 miles 640 kilometers between the cities in 400 minutes. 
CNW was the first system to start a high-speed Chicago Twin Cities schedule because it used refurbished instead of new equipment, but in 1939, modernized the 400 with new E3A diesel locomotive pairs and streamlined cars. Other named trains the CNW operated included the Ashland Limited, Duluth Superior Limited, and the Northwestern Limited CNW eventually renamed the first 400 to the Twin Cities 400 as the CNW labeled almost all of its passenger trains with variations of the 400 moniker, including the Flambeau 400 Rochester 400, Valley 400, Shoreland 400, Dakota 400 and the Kate Shelley 400. CNW ceased running the Twin Cities 400 in 1963, and all intercity passenger service on CNW ended with the formation of Amtrak in 1971. Amtrak bought a dozen of CNW's bi-level railcars and painted them into Phase 3 paint. They are not in use today. In conjunction with Union Pacific and Southern Pacific, the Northwestern operated some long-distance passenger trains, including the Overland Limited, City of Los Angeles, City of San Francisco, City of Denver, and the Challenger. These services lasted from 1889 to 1955, after which the CNW route to Chicago was changed to the Milwaukee roads on account of poor track conditions. Chicago and Northwestern also operated commuter train service in the Chicago area, where they developed what was perhaps the first control car. A modified gallery car was built in 1960 with locomotive controls to allow push-pull operation. Today, it is preserved at the Illinois Railway Museum. The C and NW also pioneered the concept of head-end power HEP, generating 480-volt electricity from the locomotive to power the air conditioning, lighting, and heating on the new bi-level cars. This eventually became the standard for all railroads in the United States. Three commuter lines radiated from Northwestern Station, the C and NW West Line to Geneva, Illinois, the C and NW Northwest Line to Harvard, Illinois, and the C and NW North Line to Kenosha, Wisconsin. All three are still operated by Metra. At Crystal Lake Junction, some trains branched off to Williams Bay and Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. The West Line also had branches to Aurora, Freeport, and Crystal Lake. A fourth commuter line operated on the KD line between Kenosha and Harvard until 1939. In 1974, responsibility for the commuter lines and equipment ownership transferred to the newly formed Regional Transportation Authority, later branded in 1983 as Metra. A purchase of service contract was signed with the C and NW, by which the railroad would be paid to maintain the line and operate trains on behalf of Metra. This arrangement continues with the Union Pacific today. All three C and NW commuter lines live on in the Metra system, with the Geneva line having been extended west to Elburn. However, service on the branch to Williams Bay was gradually cut back over the years, also resulting in changes to the name of the branch. In 1965, service was abandoned between Williams Bay and Lake Geneva. In 1975, service ended between Lake Geneva and Richmond. In 1981, service between McHenry and Richmond ended. Rails and ties north of the Cargill plant in Ringwood were removed during the 1980s, and the right-of-way converted to a trail. <laughs> <laughs> Additional notes Topic operations The CNW was known for running on the left-hand side when running on double-track mainlines. In the United States, most railroads used the right-hand track along double-track mainlines, while left-hand running was more common in countries where British companies built the railroads. According to a display in the Lake Forest Station, the reason for this was a combination of chance and inertia. When originally built as single-line trackage, the C and NW arbitrarily placed its stations on the left-hand side of the tracks when headed inbound toward Chicago. Later, when a second track was added, it was placed on the side away from the stations so as not to force them to relocate. 
Since most passengers waiting at the stations were headed toward Chicago, the inbound track remained the one closest to the station platforms. The expense of reconfiguring signals and switches has prevented a conversion to right-hand operation ever since. The Chicago and Northwestern was known for its installation of Western Railroad Supply Company wigwag signals at many of its crossing in the 1920-1940s. Almost every town on their route had at least the main crossing in town protected by them. The most common style were the center harp shorties. They were almost iconic to the CNW. Many of them, which were grandfathered in after the Federal Railroad Administration ruled them inadequate protection in 1949, survived until the 1970s and a few remain on lines in Wisconsin that have been sold off to other railroads. Lack of available parts and upgrades to roads have replaced all but a few of them. The railroad operated what was once the largest potato yard or potato market at its Chicago Wood Street yards. Potatoes came to the yard from every point in the United States to be bought or traded by produce dealers and brokers. While the facility came to be known as the potato yard, it was also a site where other vegetables could be bought, sold or traded. Topic: <laughs> Logo In 1891, the CNW adopted the famous ball and bar logo, which survived a few modifications throughout its 104-year existence. This included the changing of text, the Northwestern Line 1891-1902 Chicago and Northwestern Line 1902-1944 Chicago and Northwestern System 1944-1957 Chicago and Northwestern Railway 1957-1971 Northwestern, employee-owned 1971-1982 Chicago and Northwestern System 1982 to 1995. Topic: Reused rolling stock. The railroad also purchased a great deal of its equipment secondhand. CNW shop forces economized wherever possible, earning the railroad the nickname "Cheap and Nothing Wasted." Sometimes employees referred to the condition of equipment as cardboard and no wheels. Topic. Rail trails The Cowboy Trail is a rail trail that follows the abandoned CNW line between Chadron, Nebraska and Norfolk, Nebraska. When completed, it will be 321 miles in length. The Sangamon Valley Trail is another rail trail, currently 5.5 mile .9 kilometers in length, on the west side of Sangamon County in Illinois, which skirts Springfield, Illinois. It is a segment of a former St. Louis, Peoria and Northwestern Railway 38-mile right-of-way which was later folded into the CNW that has been set aside for rail trail use. The entire right-of-way connects Girard, Illinois, on the south end, to Athens, Illinois, at the north end. The right-of-way spans the western half of Sangamon County in a north-south direction, and also traverses small sections of Macopin County and Minard County. <laughs> Notable employees Topic. Chicago and Northwestern Historical Society The Chicago and Northwestern Historical Society was organized by a number of rail fans in 1973. The Society's purpose is to preserve the history and memory of the Chicago and Northwestern Railway through the publication of a quarterly magazine, the preservation of railroad paraphernalia, and an annual meet. The Society's journal, Northwestern Lines, is published four times a year. See also Category, Chicago and Northwestern Railway Locomotives 
equals equals footnotes